हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फैक्ट्री because this uh, machine actually were uh, producing all sorts of uh, neat fabric uh, like uh, uh, single that series pk lay cost a well, lots of fabric actually uh, what we are using daily life for our t-shirt then uh, polo shirt then our daily trouser even you know our home text like uh, home text product like uh, curtain matrix like towel that's also uh, what the fabric we are using that fabric is actually uh, that's actually this machine can uh, make this uh, all needed pay this short of needed uh, fabric so uh, actually how this machine make this needed fabric from yarn we are let's see uh, <coughs> uh, from yarn to fabric how the needed is going on uh, what the flow chart uh, this need machine is you know it's a big machine uh, but there are lots of small small uh, components i mean device and uh, combined all the device combined that need machine so is device has some individual work so i'm going to show you uh is device work how they work what their objective and then in totality how this machine make gray fabric i mean complete the needed gray fabric from the yarn that is really important and very interesting and if you really would like to be master of this machine and how it's work and how uh, i mean this flow chart one by one then say need, need i mean yarn then why this yarn is keeping that is a clean you know there is a uh, aluminum pipe through this pipe the yarn is going then you know there is the needle then why this needle set up the sinker then you know lecra filament thread uh, holder then uh, i mean mf i mean feeder and feeder then feeder guide yarn guide then you know mail some there are uh, uh, more 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 devices there actually and then uh, you would be master really you would be master if you be with this class and the next class next next session and next session i'm going to discuss uh, also i will show the video how the machine works so really it will be interesting so please be with me i would really like to be a master of uh, uh machine is our planet machine so dear friends i'm going to show my uh, ppt uh, please subscribe my channel and please so dear friends uh, i have shared my page i think you can see my page the powerpoint page i uh, see here it's, it's, it's my first page the first first yarn receive part from the spinning the knitting pack knitting factory i uh, receive the yarn like this uh, this way then immediately <coughs> uh, they set up this yarn uh, to this creeling this it is called creeling creel is vertically set up this aluminum vertical element that is creel and that is you can say this creel, creel holder this creel holder holds the yarn and uh, you know this it is a vertical uh, aluminum stick and cold holder is a mat mat metallic stick uh, then you know uh, from here from this screen you see there is uh, a pipe aluminum telescope pipe or you can say tube through this tube yarn is passed and uh, it this is the yarn through this pipe yarn is reaches to the feeder and um, then it's going to the feeder see if you see this it is the feeder uh, you can say positive feeder and actually feeder is uh, it seems a little uh, small device but it actually is not it's actually it's uh, combined some of the parts and some of the device it's called uh, the uh, feeder device it is called actually mpf device i mean memminger positive feeder and uh, this uh, feeder receives yarn from the pipe i mean from this aluminum pipe and uh, it gives the positive feed of yarn to the needles that's why it is called positive feeder and uh, you know uh, it consists uh, winding wheel see here winding wheel and then it consists uh, drive and pulley see if you say drive and pulley then here uh, some of uh, the stopper also there see there are two stopper the top stopper and there is 
bottom is the bottom. Then, then is and, and sensor is there. Uh, then uh, yes, uh, and the whole yarn doesn't need to be replaced. Uh, when see there is this year, what is the tax of the winding wheel? Winding wheel, it of course, always it is reserved some yarn. Uh, so that uh, if the yarn is torn off, sometimes it may be torn off, may, may be broken. And in that case, the whole yarn doesn't need to be replaced again. Uh, because from yarn automatics, it is uh, help to update the yarn uh, from this storage. And there is driving pulley. This driving pulley actually controls the speed of this device. Then uh, this yarn is going where? It is uh, to yarn guide. See, there is yarn guide. It is a small device. This yarn guide receives the yarn from the feeder then it is the feeder guide this feeder guide receives yarn from this yarn guide and uh, now this uh, i said here feeder guide uh, then a lots of feeder is small feeder here if you see this here total surrounding the uh, ring a uh, lots of feeder there that is it is called feeder ring it is circular ring which holds all of the feeder guide then see here, you know, for the lacquer fabric, we used to use the lacquer, lacquer yarn, that is filament. It is a filament and it is a filament holder and it is a small device. It is actually called a lacquer attachment device. Lacquer yarn is fit by this device. <coughs> then the main part of the <coughs> machine is a needle. If you see there is needle, different type of needle. It is a big mini needle, then, then there's four type of needle. And if you see this needle, there is, I mean, this, uh, uh, I mean, uh, design of this needle actually. This is uh, if you see my video that would you, you would get total understand uh, why uh, which needles actually it's set for what there is different type of cam you know i will discuss it you guys know, it's coming later there are different type of cam and regarding the according the cam this needle is set up um to work how to work and see here the sink on this sink the needle would be set up and it will this is the master part of the knitting uh, machine actually and uh, uh, it receives yarn from the feeder. This needle is actually from the feeder. It uh, receives the yarn and create the loop as well as same time what is uh, simultaneously it release the whole loop and this way finally produce a fabric. So it's actually it's additional to another part we need to discuss that is pulley. Uh, it's a VDQ pulley. Actually it is also called variable dia for quality because this pulley actually is control the you can say it's control the quality of the fabric. It's also called the quality adjustment pulley QAP. And uh, you know uh, uh, this pulley actually what how it's um, work it controls the quality of the knitted fabric by adjusting GSM and uh, SL. SL means stitch length. What is the stitch length of the fabric? You can understand. I'll show you later. So the uh, so this pulley adjusts the GSM. GSM you, you already I discussed uh, in my earlier session. What is GSM? GSM is a gram per square meter is the weight. And uh, to increase the fabric GSM, if you like to increase the GSM and the fabric weight, the pulley uh, move towards the positive direction and uh, if the body if you would like to uh, decrease the gsm you need to uh, reverse uh, towards the uh, reverse way and uh, this belt there is in a belt this belt gives the motion of the pulley yes so now see car come that is uh, i have said about the cam and the cylinder the cylinder is the main part also uh, it's another master part of the knitting machine uh, it holds the base plate uh, in this is the base plate see? Uh, it's hold this base plate and surrounding this cylinder it is uh, a hold you can uh, you can say sink sink car i mean this cylinder uh, surrounding this cylinder this uh, this part surrounding this uh, this part sink car cam box and it is located it holds actually this cylinder actually this is hold uh, and carries the needle cam box sink car etc and so here you can see this is um, uh, it is cylinder oh, sorry cam box all are cam box and this cam box is actually surrounded centered um, surrounding the cylinder i see there it is cam box so cam box you know uh, it is the cam box i uh, in, 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 in this is it you see here the only two combined cam box and after setting this way the machine set of cam box and inside of the cam box cam is here see cam is like this it is uh, it is the inside of the cam box so uh, there are three type of cam see design see the design there is uh, this design is called miss cam this design need cam and this is uh, tuck cam here see this one it is knit cam it is miss cam and it is tuck cam then again need cam and i should yes uh, i mean last i showed the needle design and according to the needle design the needle will pass this way see uh, to make a loop here suppose it is uh, knit a uh, knit cam here then it is knit cam so after getting to need a loop that it is if you would like to miss the loop then you need to pass this one that is miss camp then again 
you would like to make another one that is uh, that is the uh, tuck cam actually tuck cam is used to make a, a rib fabric lack like cost or rib pk by apollo this setup of uh, uh, fabric and uh, this uh, need that and this a need cam need cam is used for single dressing so then i uh, say uh, this is sink uh, uh, sinker sinker is say there is cam box inside the cam box actually on this sinker this sinker on this sinker uh, see if you see here the sinker then it is then the cam box uh, it's set up so it is the uh, sinker sinker is it's another master part of the knitting machine it supports yarn to form the desired loop and uh, you know sinker is located at ease and every gap of the needle then you can see the needle see uh, on the video will get total understand and uh, later i will show you video also in my next session uh, because in one section if i wanna say everything that would be more length lengthy uh, it would be video would be more long so that's why uh, next session i will show the video so now come in the uh, bottom part of the machine there is you see the spreader after you the machine automatically is coming down and that's the spreader the spreader talks what uh, spreader is uh, situated below the machine body it receives yarn from the needle then spreads the fabric and ensure the fabric uniform uh, uniformly and also control the fabric tension and the spreader is adjusted as the fabric is open type or tube type like this then after the spreader if you go down the spreader it is uh, just under the spreader there is set up take down motion rollers there are some rollers uh, that is take the uh, i mean there's a gray fabric from the spreader or they actually basically pull the fabric from the spreader then below the spreader there is winding roller the tax the tax of the winding roller it is under that under the take down roller it rolled the fabric itself then see after it actually that is the last part and then after getting the fabric uh fabric sent to the uh, uh, each, i mean uh, inspection section see the fabric inspection is going on then after the inspection fabric is packed this way uh, to deliver to the dying section uh, basically this uh, here uh, the grip will be complete but yeah there is uh, you know there is uh, some more parts i need to discuss it is machine body machine body if you see there the body holds it covers the whole area of the machine it holds base plate cylinder etc that is the top, uh, top part it's the bottom part then come base plate base plate uh, is a plate that holds the cylinder it located in the machine body see here i discussed about all things then it's important part air blow gun uh, it blows air to feed the yarn through the aluminum tube it also used for the cleaning purpose then come on fabric detector if fabric torn up or somehow fall uh, fall down the fabric from the machine it touches the cylinder and the machine is automatically become stop so it is a you can say fabric detector or fabric fault detector then uh, lubricating tube uh, that the tax of the lubricating tube is this tube uh, supplies lubricates to the cam box then sinker box and remove excessive friction and heat so it's also important tax then come to the automatic needle detector uh, the device placed very close to the needle sets it gives a signal if it found any broken or damaged needle so it's important part then another part i need to discuss that is adjuster fan uh, because you know uh, uh, this adjuster fan uh, keep helps uh, to clean keep clean the hairy fiber and keep needle cool also it's help uh, uh, the point uh, it is also faced with the needle points uh, to remove the dust so that's all uh, for today's session and uh, the whole things i will show you uh, using a video i mean from knitting to uh, from yarn receipt to uh, crepe fabric output uh, through a video i will uh, show you so that would be more more clear to you so dear friends please be with me for this two session uh, that would be you'd be really really master of a circular knit machine and, and how it's work uh, from and to uh, to get great fabric that's all thanks